We're going to determine the number of electron groups, the hybridization, and molecular shape of three different species, phosphorus trichloride, phosphorus pentachloride, and the phosphorus hexachloride ion, all known to exist. So I'm going to start off by um, noting that phosphorus, if you look on the periodic table, has five valence electrons. Chlorine has seven valence electrons. So that's very important. So if we're going to look at um, phosphorus trichloride, we can count up the electrons. For this one, be uh, three times seven for the chlorine plus five. That's going to give us a total of 26 electrons, valence electrons. Phosphorus is going to be in the middle. Let's just go ahead and do phosphorus pentachloride. So that's going to have 40 valence electrons. So 5 times 7 is 35, plus 5 is 40. All right, phosphorus hexachloride ion. That's going to be 6 times 7 is 42, plus 5 is 47, but we've got this extra uh, electron from that ion. That's going to have 48 valence electrons. We've got to be able to determine that first. So let's draw the Lewis structure of PCl3. So we're simply going to write PCl3, the Lewis structure, that's going to help us determine the number of electron groups. Okay, so if you see the valence electrons there, around the chlorine, we've got um, 8 electrons. 8 times 3 is 24, plus the 2 on top of phosphorus. That's going to be 26. So in this case, you'll notice we have 4 electron groups. So we would have to hybridize to get four. That's four electron groups around the central atom. Okay, so let's just count those real quick. One, two, three, four. So if I want to show the hybridization, that's going to be S P3. Okay? S is 1 and 3 P's. That gives me 4. Okay? Do you see where that comes from? I need to know that SP3 hybridization, that immediately follows its tetrahedral. So now I'm going to go ahead and draw the shape. Um, but we need to notice that if we're going to do tetrahedral, and I'm not going to put the wedges and dashes right now, we only have uh, the three chlorines. So because we have that fourth group, this is going to be a lone pair. So the overall shape of the molecule is going to be trigonal pyramidal because it's tetrahedral with respect to the electrons, but we have a lone pair at the top. So what that means is the shape of the molecule with respect to the atoms is going to be trigonal pyramidal. Again, because that lone pair. All right, so let's do PCL5. So again, 40 electrons. Let's draw that. I'm going to put my CLs around, and again, Lewis structure doesn't know anything about shape in particular. So,
it's clear here. Do we have a lone pair? That's going to be the question. So I've got five chlorines times eight electrons. So that gives me 40. So there's not going to be a lone pair of electrons here. They're all bonds. So that's going to give me five electron groups around the central atom. So I need hybridization, so that equals five. So sp3, well that's four, so I'm gonna need another hybridized orbital, that's gonna be sp3d. That adds up to five groups. So that's how you determine the hybridization. Okay, sp3d, five groups. We need to remember that that's going to be trigonal, bipyramidal. So, if we're going to draw that, we're going to put the phosphorus in the middle, and we're going to draw our bonds coming down. Those are all in the same plane. So I have my wedge coming out, my hash uh, going back, and the chlorines. In this video, I'm not worried about angles. We're just going to be concerned with how do we get that particular shape. So the molecule and with respect to the electrons, it's trigonal bipyramidal, five groups. Okay, lastly, I want to do PCL6, 48 electrons. So, let's do the Lewis structure. Phosphorus in the middle, six bonds. Five, six, let's put our pairs here. Okay, and how many electrons do we have? Well, we've got six chlorines with eight electrons each, so that's going to be 48. We need to put brackets around this because it's a negative ion. So that means we have six electron groups. So I need to hybridize in order to get six orbitals. Okay, I need six orbitals for bonding. So S, I'm always starting with S, P, three. So that's four. D, that would be five. Two. So my hybridization is going to be sp3d2. Then the shape follows from that. The shape's going to be octahedral. Okay, I'm not going to worry about bond angles at this point. I'm going to put my phosphorus in the middle. And now let's draw the chlorine. Um, I recommend strongly that we draw a rectangle with that phosphorus in the middle. This is going to allow us to have uh, the perspective um, and it's going to help us see where these chlorines are going to go. Okay, so there's PCL6. So now I'm going to draw my wedge out to here. So that chlorine is coming towards us out of the plane. Another wedge here. That chlorine's coming out towards us. And then I have my dashes showing that this chlorine and this chlorine 
go back into the plane. Okay, we can put our remaining electrons. I need to draw brackets because this is a negative ion. Okay, so let's review real quick. First, we need to determine number of electrons. Okay, so determine the Lewis structure. Okay, from that, you're going to get number of electron groups around the central atom. Third, from that, that will determine how many orbitals. So if you need four orbitals, that's sp3. If you need five orbitals, that's sp3d2, um, sp3d. If you need six, that's sp3d2. Okay, so after you determine the number of orbitals, determine hybridization. And then lastly, from the hybridization, you can get the shape.